Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Bantry Development Tourism Association and as Mayor of Bantry Town, I'd like to welcome you all here tonight. Because Especially I think uh, that tonight, the first Chief O'Neill Festival inside here in Bantry Town is going to be the forerunner of many, and I have a feeling that it will grow to be a really big festival. But uh, I suppose the first compliment tonight where Captain o uh, Chief O'Neill is concerned is to the people of Trolley Bourne who have been faithful to his memory who erected the monument, who have the, the day every year out there. And I don't think this festival might have been there only for the care <coughs> and the devotion they're taking to the memory of Captain O'Neill down through the years. I think we will inaugurate the festival by asking our young musicians to play Chief O'Neill's favourite. Trolley Bourne in 1848, you could say, in the middle of the famine, and he died on the 28th of January 1936. But he was one of the great Irish collectors. I suppose the first was Edward Bunting, who gathered the music at the Belfast Harp Festival, I think, at 1758. And another notable <coughs> collector was a man with local <coughs> connections here, and Castleton Bear was a Protestant rector called Canon Goodman, and Chief O'Neill was the third. Maybe they didn't realise the importance of their work, but many of the tunes that are in the Irish repertoire today would have been lost only for Captain O'Neill. If you like, you could look at him as a gigantic tape recorder in the absence of tape recorders, and uh, the musicians that he had around him in Chicago couldn't read music, it was all the old tradition, and he noted them all down. August, uh, the part of his book that I love, and the set dances at the end, and certainly I think they would be lost only for him. Some of them would be very well known, like St. Patrick's Day, the King of the Fairies, but then there'd be other ones, the Piper Through the Meadows String, the Ace and Juice, the Pipering, all these ones, they might be gone. So, um, Shanae Captain O'Neill, and it is our privilege to um, remember him and to celebrate him this weekend. having coal, there was all, there was rinke, I suppose, for the rest of the night. And uh, again, thanks for the invitation down, Mary. It's a wonderful night. I'm feeling this is going to be a great festival and get greater as the years go on. And I suppose there's nobody who deserves it more than Uncop then Francis O'Neill. In his memory, we sing one verse of Bantry Bay. Just one. As I'm sitting all alone in the gloaming, it might have been but yesterday that we watched the fisher sails all homing till the little herring fleet at anchor lay. Then the fisher girls with baskets swinging came running down the old stone way. Every 
lassie to her sailor lad was singing a welcome back to Bantry.